Hey everyone! Welcome back to my channel where I talk about everything related to Heartland, the longest running family drama in television history. Today, I'm going to recap the season 17 premiere episode, which was also the show's 250th episode. And let me tell you, it was a wild ride. We had a surprise baby, a wild horse, and some emotional moments that made us cry. So, without further ado, let's get into it. The episode starts with Amy and Logan working with a horse at the ranch when they see a truck pulling in. And who jumps out of the truck? None other than Mallory, who is very pregnant and claims that she needs Amy's help with a horse. But before Amy can ask any questions, Mallory says that she might be in labor and asks Amy to drive her to the hospital. On the way to the hospital, Amy learns that the horse that Mallory brought with her is Ransom, a former ranch horse that was set free eight years ago during a windstorm and ended up joining a wild herd. Mallory says that she wants Amy to integrate Ransom with the wildies living near Heartland, since she and Jake don't know what to do with him. But Amy senses that there might be more to Mallory's visit than just the horse. At the hospital, they find out that Mallory is not in labor, but just having Braxton Hicks contractions. Amy calls Jack to let him know that Mallory is okay and that she will be staying at the ranch for a while. Jack is thrilled to hear that Mallory is back and tells Tim the news. Tim is less enthusiastic, since he remembers how Mallory used to annoy him all the time. Meanwhile, Lou is busy with her campaign to be re-elected as mayor of Hudson. She has a new opponent, Peter Morris, who is none other than her ex-husband and Georgie's father. Lou is shocked and angry that Peter would run against her, especially since he hasn't been around for Georgie for a long time. She confronts him and tells him to drop out of the race, but Peter refuses and says that he has a right to be involved in his daughter's life. Back at the ranch, Jack and Lisa welcome Mallory and Ransom. They are surprised to see how much Mallory has changed and how big Ransom has grown. They also notice that Jake is not with Mallory and wonder where he is. Mallory says that Jake is working in Colorado and couldn't come with her. She also says that she misses Hudson and wants her baby to grow up surrounded by family and friends like she did. Amy decides to help Mallory with Ransom and takes him to meet Ghost, one of the wildies that lives near Heartland. She hopes that Ghost will accept Ransom and lead him to the rest of the herd. But things don't go as planned as Ghost attacks Ransom and injures him badly. Amy manages to calm Ransom down and calls Steve for help. Tay arrives at Heartland with his daughter Lindy and examines Ransom's wound. He says that Ransom will need stitches and antibiotics, but he should be fine. He also tells Amy that he has some news for her. He has been offered a job as a wildlife veterinarian in Mongolia, and he wants Amy and Lindy to go with him. Amy is stunned by Ty's proposal and doesn't know what to say. The next day, Amy talks to Jack about Ty's offer. She says that she loves Tay and Lindy, but she doesn't want to leave Heartland or her family behind. Jack tells her that he understands how she feels, but he also reminds her that Ty has always supported her dreams and now it's her turn to support his. He says that whatever decision she makes, he will always love her and be proud of her. Meanwhile, Lou finds out that Peter has been spreading lies about her on social media, accusing her of being corrupt and incompetent as mayor. She is furious and decides to fight back by exposing Peter's shady past as a businessman who cheated on his taxes and his wife. She asks Georgie to help her dig up some dirt on Peter, but Georgie refuses and says that she doesn't want to be part of Lou's war against Peter. Georgie tells Lou that she is hurt by Lou's attitude towards Peter and that she wants them to get along for her sake. She says that Peter is still her father and she loves him, even if he made some mistakes in the past. She also says that Lou should focus on the positive things that she has done as mayor instead of attacking Peter's character. Lou realizes that Georgie is right and apologizes to her for putting her in the middle of their conflict. She also decides to change her campaign strategy and focus on her achievements and vision for Hudson. She makes a video where she talks about her passion for the town and the people and how she wants to make it a better place for everyone. At the end of the episode, Mallory goes into labor for real and gives birth to a baby boy at the ranch. She names him Jack, after her grandfather figure and mentor. Jake arrives just in time to see his son and reunite with Mallory. They are overjoyed and grateful for their new family. She says that she loves him and she wants to support his dream, even if it means leaving Heartland for a while. She also says that she trusts him to take care of Ransom and find him a new home with the Wildies. The episode ends with a montage of the Heartland family celebrating Mallory's baby, Lou's victory in the election, and Amy's farewell.
They all hug and smile, knowing that they will always be there for each other, no matter what. And that's it for the season 17 premiere recap of Heartland. I hope you enjoyed it and let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this one. And I'll see you next time, when I recap Heartland Season 17 Episode 2. Bye for now.